Uh, we see a constant threat uh, for new terrorist attacks. Uh, we see cyber attacks almost every day. We see pro proliferation of nuclear weapons in North Korea, and then we see also more assert of Russia. And it's this complex and unpredictable uh, uh, security uh, landscape that uh, poses the biggest threat to uh, the whole alliance. I think the European countries will be well advised to recognize that uh, the threats that they face are in the cyber domain, not just in the physical domain, and that they are, the threats are to our values uh, and to our institutions, and not just to our territory. Terrorism is a pan-world issue, and effectively uh, they do operate like uh, lone wolf packs and they could spring out anywhere, uh, be it in, in London or in Spain or, or even in Germany. One of the biggest problems we're having is that there's a sustained attack on information online. We're seeing more and more disinformation, deliberate lies being spread by more sources in more ways than we've ever seen before. And the problem is that you can't have an informed debate if you don't have decent information. We're concerned about hybrid warfare, we're concerned about um, a lot of activity that know, makes us know that we need to be ready for any eventuality. In strengthening our collective defense, high readiness of our forces, modernizing the command structure, to step up efforts to fight terrorism, invest more in security, increase defense spending, and uh, improve burden sharing.